Hello, hello, guys. Can you listen to me? Hello. Hello. Hey, me escuchan? Yes. Excellent, excellent. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? Are you ready? Guys, are you ready for this session? Estamos listos. This is the last session. Come on, we finished. So I really want to congratulate you. Quiero felicitarles por haber hecho el esfuerzo. Sé que no ha sido fácil. Pero miren, we made it to the end. Okay, so how do you feel? ¿Cómo se sienten? How do you feel? Yo todavía estoy algo enfermo, así que no me siento muy bien. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> ya se va. Ya se va. Eh, tranquiliza. Te crisis, te crisis. No worries. Uh, sometimes when, when, when we are sick, yeah, we don't want to talk, right? But then it's fine. Everything is temporary, Gilbert. Todo es temporal. Bueno, bienvenidos. Uh, antes de comenzar, before we start with the session, I want to know if you guys let's see hello partners i have sent the file thank you salvador thank you so much yeah i saw it i saw it lovey so thank you so much well before we start i want to know if you guys have any question on the um, i mean about the exam about the final test that you want to bring so we can discuss any questions in general questions about the final test Questions? No questions. Ahorita pregunten lo que ustedes gusten, porque esta sesión es solo tenemos un reading que hacer y luego, pues, lo, lo demás quisiera que fuera para, para preguntas. Recuerden que until midnight, hoy a la medianoche, everything must be completed. Gustavo se quedó comprometido con terminar. Gustavo, ¿cómo le ha ido? Finish. Finish. Wow. 100. That is music to my ear. Thank you so much for doing that. I know it's a commitment, right? At the end, it's, uh, it's something like you feel, I would say, satisfied about because you are the one who has worked on this. And then thank you so much for, for doing that. It's part of your uh, responsibility and discipline, Gustavo. Thank you for that. Anybody else? Guys, do you have questions? Alguien tiene preguntas acerca de la plataforma, ex ejercicios? Are we okay? Okay, I can say there are no questions. Puedo decir que no hay preguntas. Am I right? Bueno, si las hay y surgen o surgen en el transcurso de la clase, me las pueden dejar saber. That's totally okay. Just give me one second. Let me share the screen. One second. Ya todos terminaron entonces en la plataforma. Todos, todos. Todos han venido bien calladitos ahora, nadie quiere hablar. ¿va? ¿Qué les ha pasado ahora? Es viernes, por eso. ¿Cómo estamos? Calladitos, están ahí tranquilitos, ya, ya, ya tengo 100%, ya estoy bien. ¿Se escucha, bueno, teacher, no? Sí, se escucha. Se escucha ah, bien. Teacher. Ya tengo 100%, ya estuvo, ya me voy. Come on. Vamos, entonces vamos a leer un rato. Ok, we're going to read. Quiero escucharles que me lean la, la okay. Y gracias, Salvador, por compartirme la, 
compartir los, los, los channels. La verdad es que le agradezco un montón por eso. Ok, let's see. One second. Los demás, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Todos se les escucho como que están callados, no quieren decir nada. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Y, este, ¿Sí? y con respecto al... A... Ahí dice felicitaciones, tú has usado, y dice de que está, o sea, habla del de certificado, ¿eso lo podemos descargar? Sí, se les envía un certificado digital. Sí, se, se le, creo, creo que se les manda el correo. Exactamente. Teacher, Ajá. y solo es digital, físico no. Fíjese que esa es una muy buena pregunta, pero la última vez yo supe que se los mandaban el correo y ustedes lo pueden print pero no sé si se lo van a dar físico. No, no, no sabría decirle. Pero yo, la última vez yo sabía que se lo dan así, se lo envían al correo para descargable y va sellado y todo, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. You download it and you print it. Uh -huh. No, pues ese certificado se puede descargar inmediatamente con el nombre de cada uno y pues ahí viene ya sellado y firmado. Uh -huh. Exacto, exactamente. Y cuando finaliza la sesión, ya al 100%, arribita le aparece su certificado de descargarlo. Vaya, ahí está la, la información. Well, Teacher, ¿y usted va a impartir el siguiente módulo? Fíjese que eso sí, no sé, porque no, 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 nos, han dicho, no nos han dicho nada todavía. Entonces, ahí. Muestra, teacher, no sé si lo pueden ver todos. Ah, ya lo imprimió. No, no, no. Este me lo dieron ahí en Insapor. Ah. Fe y Alegría, Santa Ana. Ah, ajá. Nice. No es este... Espera, voy, eh, voy, 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 voy a dejar de compartir. Permítame. Muéstralo ahora. Por ser el mejor estudiante. Ah, por ahora lo está mostrando. Ah. Ah, 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 Aquí dice el promedio, teacher. 9.7 ¿Pero de cuándo es? ¿De cuándo? 1900 hey, no, no. No. No, okay. Pero no es papel membretado, ¿verdad? Sí, es membretado Ah, es membretado sí, sí, este... Por eso preguntaba yo si lo mandaban a la casa o, o irlo a traer en algún lugar, no sé. Pero Esa, solo digital es. Fíjese que es bueno, una muy buena pregunta. De hecho, podemos preguntarle ahí a, a los encargados, consultarles. Pero la última vez yo recuerdo que solo lo mandaban así, digital. Pero, yo creo que solo en digital, porque yo sí. cursé uno también en línea y solo digital. Solo digital. Only digital. Ok, bueno, entonces eh, tenemos parte de la sesión de ese día, tenemos una lectura, we have a reading. That I think you already did, que creo que ya la hicieron todos, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a, vamos a hacer esa lectura y pues si alguna pregunta surge, pues no, no duden en hacerla. Llegaba un correo cuando lo podíamos... Teacher, a mí me llegó un correo cuando lo podía ir a... En serio. Bueno, si eso pasa, pues está muy bien. Sí, sí. sí. Uh -huh. Sería mejor tenerlo en físico, a ti. Sí, definitivamente. Les quiero compartir algo que me mandaron, permítanme. Uh -huh. Justamente ahora, dice, um, primero recordatorio, dice, mínimo 80% nota final. Además, mencionarles que las reinscripciones están abiertas para que puedan completar el proceso respectivo. O sea que la, eso me lo mandaron ahora a las 5 de la tarde. El proceso de reinscripción para el siguiente módulo está abierto. Y este, entre, dice, los documentos pueden ser enviados entre el 11 y el 14. Para que le manden ahí el regalo de San Valentín también, de un solo. Hasta el 14, sepa que hasta entonces es máximo para mandarlo. Y pues al momento se tiene una fecha uh, tentativa de reinicio del curso el 21 de febrero, ¿ok? Para que ustedes se vayan ahí programando. Tentativa, ¿verdad? No es seguro. Así eso tomen, tomen en sus apuntes. Tienen hasta el 14. 
para mandar documentos. Perdón, teacher, ¿para cuándo es la fecha tentativa? 14 para mandar, no, el periodo para mandar documentos, límite 14 de febrero. Fecha tentativa de inicio del curso que, que comienza, próximo, 21 de febrero. 21, ok. Ahí está la fecha tentativa, ok. Entonces, esa información más reciente que nos han compartido a todos los facilitadores en el grupo y pues por lo demás a completar documentación y, e inscribirse, acuérdense que ese es un proceso, aunque poquito a poquito se va estudiando día a día, pues eso va agregando, aunque usted diga, no hombre, si no aprendo nada, les apuesto que van aprendiendo que sea algo ¿no? sí, se, lo, se lo garantizo aunque, aunque diga mire, es que ya sabía eso, pero créanme que se y, y ahorita todos ahí va, ey, cómo me adivina el, el día. <risa> no, pero saben que, vaya, yo, yo les voy a contar, de repente, ah, el 20, el 2020, la pandemia, todo el año pasé a inglés básico, 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 y de repente salían palabras nuevas ahí, vaya, eso no sabía, ajá, basic English, o sea, que en un libro básico, de repente, there are things that you don't know, so, it's okay, it's okay. Well, vamos a hacer el reading, guys. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Algunos que están ya ahí este, activos, viendo las cámaras. Veo Jacqueline que ya, ya vino. <ríe> Jacqueline, los demás aún están ahí. Cameras off. Este, así que eso les voy a compartir la pantalla. Creo que no les compartí el objetivo de la clase. Let me share it. Si lo hice, quizás lo he de compartir. Give me one second. Today's class objective is the following. Let's see. In this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. Okay, veamos. Tell me about family changes. What comes to your mind when you listen to what I'm saying? What are some family changes in life? Or how does a family change? What are those changes that we experience in our life? You as a father, you as a mother, you as a son or a daughter, how do we change in our families? Any idea? Do you know what changes is? Changes? Um, yes. mm -hmm. So any, any change you have experienced in your family that you want to share with me? What comes to your mind? What can you tell me about it? Family changes. Eh, cambios en las familias. Uh -huh. what, what changes have you experienced in your family? Now, at your age, what can you tell me? Okay, this year, uh, one change in my family, one change in my family is my brother, mm -hmm. my, my brother, mayor, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, older. Ah, my brother older, he mm -hmm. goes to the Guatemala City. He married and he, he have uh, two children and never come back to the, to the country. Wow, you see? Only visit, only visit one or twice um, in the year. You see? So basically that is a big change because family is not expecting sometimes to experience these changes, right? But they get separated, okay? Thank you so much for sharing, David. Anybody else, any change you have experienced in your life as a family that you want to share? with us. Teacher, in my, in my case, I don't, I don't have any change in my family because I think that the change in family can be, can be due because in some cases, our other relations that lead to pick up or divorce, or maybe one of member of family that 
can get other relationship or or die or travel another country, for example. Correct. You have mentioned so many things, Salvador. Um, maybe traveling to a different country, divorce, and something even more touching, more touching, which is when someone dies, right? When uh, lives, you know, uh, let's see, ends, basically. That's the hardest one. Sometimes we lose our loved ones. Sometimes maybe our father or our mother, brother, grandpa, grandmother is not with us anymore. That is something really sad, but we need to face it, right? We need to face this, um, let's see, we can call them... Maybe there's not problems, they're not uh, obstacles, they're just, it's part of life that we have to face these situations. So changes we experience in life. Uh, maybe someone can, you know, tell us about it. Oh, I see, Gilbert, I became a father approximately three years ago. Therefore, my mother is now a grandmother, yeah. And my brother left the country four years ago. These are the most remarkable changes in my life. I imagine, I imagine Gilbert, I'm not a father yet, but I think that must be a six, six, um, that must be a 360 degree change, right? Something really, um, I would say great or big, remarkable as you have said it. Anybody else, any change you have experienced in your life before we start reading? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, in my family, the change is that um, um, my work finished in July 31. Um, 20, 2021, teacher. 20, 21. 2021. Okay. Um, now we are in. Um, I don't have any work. That is my um, change. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing, Gustavo. You see, yeah, those changes are really um, sometimes painful, sometimes difficult to face, but then we don't have any other option than keep going, right? So thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Alguien más si quiere compartir? Any change? Uh, I'm. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. go ahead. Um, my older sister did five years. Um, I have four brothers in the other countries. He, I live a bit far from my parents. So you don't live with your parents, you live in a different place bit far uh -huh. and that's a big change Olivia because like I remember like in my case now I'm living in in Sonsonate but but my parents I mean do before the pandemic I was living in San Salvador due to this uh, pandemic I came back to my parents house so I'm now I'm living here with them actually it's not with them it's just uh, I live where my parents live so that's a big change, you know. I have to adapt again to the to these conditions, you know. And that's why I really feel you when you say that you don't live with your parents. It's a huge change in your life. Thank you so much for sharing. Ruth, what do you want to say? Share with oh, us. My, ch my children have grown. And now I feel more relaxed in my life because now they can do many things alone. I only take care or give instruction 
for their responsibility. Uh, this is more, more threat for me. Interesting. You know what? Your opinion just reminded me about story that I always tell. Su opinión me acaba de recordar una historia que dice que sus hijos ya crecieron y ahora se dedica a usted, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you do that because sometimes we don't have time for ourselves. Y quizás estamos esperando hasta que algo pase para decir me voy a dedicar a uno mismo. Qué bueno que lo tenga usted. Ya si sí, crecieron y tiene ese espacio. Estaba estaba la abuelita y la nieta en el cementerio. ¿Han escuchado eso? Y estaba la abuelita estaba llorando porque estaban en la tumba del esposo de ella, que era el abuelito de la nieta. O sea que el abuelo ya había muerto. Y le decí, y la abuelita estaba llorando muchísimo. Y la nieta le dice, abuela, ¿por qué lloras? De todas maneras, ya se murió nuestro abuelo. Si nos tienes a nosotros, le dice. Nos tienes a nosotros tus nietas, a tus hijas. Estás con nosotros. Y la abuelita le dice, este, cuando yo estaba en la universidad, pensaba que al graduarme iba a ser feliz. Me gradué y dije, cuando me case voy a ser feliz. Me casé. Y luego decíamos, cuando tengamos nuestros primeros hijos, vamos a ser felices junto a tu abuelito. Luego, cuando salieron los hijos, me dieron más responsabilidades y dijeron, este, cuando crezcan todos y ya tengan su familia, vamos a ser felices. Crecieron los hijos, tuvieron su familia y él se murió. O sea, que siempre estuve esperando un momento para disfrutar de la vida, ser feliz, pero nunca se dio la oportunidad Entonces la nieta le pregunta a la abuelita, o sea, que te arrepientes de lo de habernos tenido a nosotros, de todo lo que ha pasado. No, hija, no me arrepiento de eso, le dice. Lo que me arrepiento es no haber vivido cada etapa de mi vida como debía haberla vivido al máximo. Entonces, así que lo que sea que estemos experimentando ahorita, alguien está en la universidad, alguien está en su trabajo, disfrutemos nuestra familia, seamos agradecidos. Y todo lo que pasa en nuestra vida pasa por algo. Así que solo quería contarles esa historia que de repente yo la escuché y dije yo, oh, interesting, porque cada etapa de nuestra vida hay que tomarla de la mejor manera. De la mejor manera y de repente pues quizás si no tengo el carro de último año me siento mal. Si no tengo, aquella, si no tengo tal cosa esperando que algo pase para ser felices. Don't do that. Porque a veces nos hace veces infelices a compararnos con los demás. Cada quien vive su vida de acuerdo a las condiciones y Dios da la vida y él sabe cómo nos lleva. Fíjense que yo, yo les aseguro que si ustedes dicen, puchica, yo quisiera estar en los zapatos de cada persona, se ve bien alivianado, decimos, se ve que tiene buen trabajo, tiene mucho dinero, pero les apuesto que si viven quizás un, unas horas en la vida de él o ella, se contarían muchas sorpresas. Sorpresas que quizás no quisieran estar en esos zapatos. Bueno, ya terminó la clase the de The greatest blessing is felt. Exactamente. Exactamente. Así que the greatest... I, I'm speaking in Spanish, but at the end I wanted to be very clear on this story. Uh, so yeah, the greatest present is health. David already mentioned it. If you are healthy, if you can breathe, you know, without any, I don't know, artificial thing or equipment or devices, you have to for be example, thankful. For example, teacher, uh, I, I have a, a one attack to my heart and fue un preinfarto. Y supuestamente yo estaba ya para el perro. ¿eh? <laughs> y se me dio la oportunidad y aquí estamos. <laughs> y ahí está dando guerra. <laughs> ok. Nice. You see, well, there's always a purpose for that. Siempre hay un propósito de ello. Así que uh, your mission is to investigate what this, this purpose is. ¿Cuál es ese propósito? Okay, ¿alguien más quiere compartir algún cambio en su vida? Any change that you want to share, guys? Before we start reading, ¿alguien comenzar a leer this one? Anybody? Clara, ¿le escuchamos, Clara? 
Okay, uh, well, in my case, one of my the changes in my life, in my family, or in my life, is that I live in Cojute for a for a many years, and I moved to El Salvador, so it's a big change for me, you know. And also that I visit the country of Guatemala with my family, and that's an, a beauty experience that I have. And uh, the death of my great grandmother is one big big change in my family. Mm -hmm. that really mark right that really marked us when someone in our family uh, passed away so you are now living in san salvador you don't live anymore in, in or, or you live in cojute you said living in san salvador. Uh, mm -hmm. okay right you know just a small change from the capital from the city to any other place you feel the change you feel it you know big like very like tiny changes maybe you are living uh with uh yourself and then you move to live with your family you feel the change maybe you're living with your parents and then you live to you live alone or you move out to live alone you feel the change you know because we are used to a specific life condition and then when we change then we have to adapt ourselves to this new condition Okay, anybody else, guys, that you want to share? Alguien más quiere compartir? Anybody else? Any change? Alguien se ha sentido, anybody has felt identified with this reading? No sé si ya lo leyeron, especialmente los que ya tienen esposa. I, I hate y... this article, this <laughs> <laughs> okay. So many no, come on. I mean, it's... What? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's read this article. El, uh, el article is, um, I would say, it's okay. Leamos, voy a hacer estas preguntas, ustedes me van a responder, okay? Uh, so, the changing family. Now, why do women work outside the home? So, give me your answers on the chat or pueden abrir sus micrófonos. Primer pregunta. Outside the home. What is your answer for this? Hay 23 conectados, quiero 23 respuestas. Traten de responder. Why do women work outside the home? My first question, do you understand this? ¿Se entiende la pregunta? Yeah. Okay, so what's eh, your answer? ¿Por qué entro a trabajar? Uh, ¿Por qué las mujeres <laughs> trabajan fuera de casa? Ah. Uh -huh. What questions do you have? Type your answer or open your mic and share with me. Teacher, uh, the women uh, in some time can do work because in nowadays it's necessary to provide uh, the men in different expenses in order to pay the bills, in order to pay the college, in order to pay the educational system to the, the children, in order to pay the, the, the house, in order to support in different expenses to the home. That is nowadays necessary because the salary to the men now is, uh, now is the old because the salary is really, really low. You have pointed out great things, Salvador. Exactly. Salvador conditions are not the best. Exactly. Well, everything you have mentioned makes a lot of sense. I want to hear more opinions. Open your mic and speak to me, please. And maybe you want to send ideas on the chat if you would like to. So tell me. Teacher, yes. Uh, because of the economic situation, it's very hard uh, with with sales things for the house. And another case because they are mother singles, and everything pay the house, the children's, the school. Um, and other 
for 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 this is the the woman works. Yeah, that's a good point. Single mothers is very common in nowadays, right? Wow, that's a really good point. And bills, right? Bills to pay. Anybody else? One more opinion, guys. Uh, teacher, uh, for personal uh, realiza realizarse personalmente, quiero decir, for, Self, for personal uh, uh, accomplishment, mm -hmm. is, ne uh, is necessary to cover with holes uh, para cubrir gastos de la casa. So uh, cover, uh -huh. Uh, for being independent too. Being independence, okay, yes. I like that point. And so do you think both need to work like father and mother? Or do you think only father has to work and mother has to stay home to take care of the kids? What do you think? What's your point? I think the better is, is both because uh, uh, the condition, the social conditions, it's no better in some cases. For me, it's both. Okay, so that's one that's one woman giving an opinion. What what do men in this session think? Do you think women should work or only men should work? We heard both. Is there anybody who thinks differently? Uh, I think about for the, the, modern, the modern conditions and the women is super age and and she need eh, avanzar, crecer. Yeah, advance, grow. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, and um, what about opportunities in our country? Do we have equal opportunities for women and men? What do you think? Los que no, no han participado y quieran participar, no se sientan, manden sus, sus, sus respuestas, send your answer on the chat, raise your hand, estamos para escucharles. Okay, uh, let's see, I want to read some ideas. Because sometimes, says Gilbert, they need to be a help to their husband, not leave all to the burden to him. Okay, yes. I think that some by vocation, as well as doctors, nurses, Teachers, etc., others for economic independence, and others because they need to help with the household expenses. That's correct. In my case, because I like to work. Wow, that's really good. Quiero ver quién le gusta trabajar. Gloria, okay. Uh, because women, women don't, uh, so women are not submissive, okay? Like, like dependent, right? So the man is the only one who is, who's the breadwinner. No, right? That's in the past, not anymore in the present. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any idea? Open your mic, please. Let's see. Tell me. There are several necessities, such as the fact of being single mothers in charge of responsibility of the family. Self-realization, uh -huh. this is exactly like Olivia's participation. And for economic independence, uh -huh. exactly. I don't know, but I think that if you are depending on someone, if you don't make money, then that must be really, I don't know. I don't, I don't perceive that. I disagree with having, let's see, only one person, let's either the, the husband or the wife to work. It must be a teamwork, teamwork. Of course, there's a time in which maybe uh, the woman is having a baby, then it's understandable, right? 
But then if nothing of this is going on, maybe both can work, you know, to contribute, you know, for the same objective, many things, many necessities. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh -huh. Let's move on. Now we're going to read. Let's read this text. Can anyone volunteer to read the first paragraph where, where it says now? Let's start with that part. Anybody who wants to volunteer? Only read it. Only read this part, please. Who wants to do it? Okay, thank you so much, Salvador. Now. Microphone, Salvador. Your microphone. Okay. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happened when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. Niger, Jerry is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Thank you so much, Salvador. Appreciate it. I want one more volunteer to read the same lines, las mismas líneas que acaba de Salvador. David, go ahead, please. Teacher, solo, ¿lo puede acercar un poquito más? Let me try, déjeme tratar. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when bad parents work? Ready about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, 12, Josh, 12 years old, Ben, nine, three years old, and Emily, six years old. Steve is a computer comp programmer. This year, Judy is working again and the hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Thank you so much. You see, we're going to listen to the last one. Escucharemos a la última lectura el mismo texto. Creo que Ruth tenía la mano levantada. Ruth? American families are changed. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women not work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, George, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six years old. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is, a wor is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are, so, there are also some problems. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Quick question. Do you think we have a similar problems or situations in El Salvador like this one? Do we have similar scenarios here in Salvador? Think it happens here or only in the American families like in the United States, right? It also happens in our country, right? What are those possible problems that, that you think this family can have if both work? If uh, both work, what are those possible problems? They had three kids. Any problem that comes to your mind without you uh, reading the next lines? What comes to your mind? Any problem? Algún problema que crean que pueda tener sin leer las líneas? This family? Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe the children, they don't have, they don't have a, a schedule for the activities and they don't have 
someone to check the activities and share your uh, homework and they they do it that uh, I don't know how to say hacen lo que quieren. They do whatever they want. Whatever they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my next question. Do you think children's children's behavior is affected when parents are not at home? Do you know what's behavior? Behavior means comportamiento. Do you think it's, it's affected? Or how great can the impact be if a father or mother is not at home? Do you think that affects? What do you think? Behavior. Is it affected? Mm -hmm. Maybe when they are little, mm -hmm. uh, for example, to to fight, to fight to to eight years old. Uh, uh, I think they they need to. How do you say? Como un tutor. Need a tutor. They need a tutor. Yeah, a tutor could be your father, your mother, or, or another person. Uh, in this in this age, I think it's important the the tutor the tutor the tutor in the in the in the children. Okay, I agree with you. Yes, maybe if they don't understand a homework right then that's something concerning. Okay, uh, let's see, Gustavo, I think, wanted to read, Gustavo. Read the first part here, please. Now, the Judy, please go ahead. Okay. Um, now that Judy's working, still has to help her more with the homes. Housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Thank you so much. Do you, what do you think, guys? Do men, do boys in this session like doing housework, such as doing the dishes, cleaning the house, um, cooking? Do you guys like doing this, boys, men in this session? Gustavo? David, okay. Salvador, Gilbert, Hector. Yes, teacher. I like the work of home. You like, okay. You like work. Like, what is your favorite activity at home to do? Or what is something that you do and you don't feel like, I don't know, stressed style for doing this? Cooking, cleaning, doing yes. the laundry. I listen music and I cook in every morning. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> yes. What What else, guys? Anybody else? What do you do at home? Like any housework activity that you do and you have no problems at all? Sure. Yes. When When I working and my wife too, my children are or they have many responsibilities in home because they can do, make the dishes, make the bell, clean in the home, and different other kind of activities like cooking the own food. And this type of activities is support in order to the children make most Disabilities and in the in depends with some of them. Uh, they are, uh, don't need the caring to the other people because they can be uh, learning to do the proper activities and this type of activities can do in the good person in order to responsibilities. Mm -hmm. In order to be responsible, right? To, 
to have these good habits. And you want to be the example, right? For, for your kids, for your children. Yeah, okay. Salvador, good, good contribution. Thank you so much, okay? Thank you for sharing. Now let's see, anybody else, guys? I see Gilbert says, I cook in the morning for myself before I go to work. When I when on, when on a day off, I clean the house. Makes sense. Interesting. Anybody else? Do you cook? Do you do the dishes? Do you prepare breakfast, dinner? What's your case? Come on, talk to me. We have only eight minutes. Practice I'm your English. Uh -huh. morning, I'm cooking in the morning only eggs. Egg. Huevo duros. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say yeah. huevo duros in English? You say uh, hard, hard, like hard boiled eggs. Huevo duros. Hard boiled eggs. Hard eggs. Like this, hard boiled eggs. Huevo estrellado. Sunny side of eggs. Sunny side of eggs. This is some huevos estrellados. Uh, what's scrambled eggs are the most common ones. Are los, are los, uh, los huevos. Huevo picado. Uh, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Sunny side of eggs. Son los que tienen la cosita. El, me gusta con los líquido. You know, some salt in it. And some salt, hot sauce, chilito. You know. Nice. All right. So, what else? Maybe Maruchanes soup, you know, at lunch with some <laughs> lemon and cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, some some mm -hmm. people learn to burn the water. Right. <laughs> I I do. I, I sometimes burn the water. Se me queme el agua. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Tenemos a little time. Veamos las siguientes lines. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Judy loves. Tenemos como tres más. Cuatro. Let's hurry up, please. Give me the layer. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you. Judy? Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. And busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Oh, this is, this is so bad. This is so bad. I don't know what you think, but I think this is so bad. But what do you think, guys? What do you understand from this text? ¿Qué entienden? ¿Qué me pueden contar? Do you agree? What's your perception about this? I think this can affect the relationship between Judy and her husband and Steve. Well, I don't know. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe, maybe uh, I think uh, is is saludable, healthy, healthy. healthy. Uh huh. Uh, trying to ways to share with the with the partner. And maybe watch the movie at home or I walk for a walk for go for a walk uh, in the park or dinner outside uh, because I think uh, maybe a fit maybe a fit. Great, I like your opinion, you know, that's really, really accurate. Muy acertada su opinion. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Exactly. And we have the next one, Emily, who wants to read it? Emily, next one, volunteer, please. We almost finished, come on, five minutes. One volunteer. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 24 connected, only one I need. Mm. All right, thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Wow, you see, that's another problem. And finish, Jacqueline. 
Unfortunately, continue, Jacqueline. You are the chosen. Mm, okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Ben school. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Ben school doesn't have an after school program right now. He's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. All right, thank you. And the last one, the last paragraph, el último párrafo. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more and, and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few house, household chores. Chores, exactly. Household chores on the idea de la casa, enjoying. Well, Como sugerencia, like a suggestion, guys, whenever you read, siempre que lean, traten de dar su punto de vista, ¿verdad? Usted lee un párrafo, then, then after you read, try to think about what it means and try to say, I, do I agree or disagree? What do, you, what do I understand? Siempre cuestionense para generar un criterio y, y, y ver que se está entendiendo el texto. Eso, sí, eso es esencial. Por tiempo no lo vamos a hacer. Pero así que solo tenemos three minutes or, or a little bit more. Me gustaría preguntarles if you have any questions, guys, any questions. Ya tenemos un par de minutitos that you want to share with me, that you want to ask. Una pregunta, any comments, any comment, opinions. <laughs> De lo, eh, del, teacher, ajá. Ah, pero de, de lo de del reading, no. Eh, generales. Del reading, lo que les voy a pedir es que saquen vocabulario nuevo, ¿verdad? Hay muchas palabras de repente que no saben, siempre eso hay que hacerlo. Teacher, I don't know this word, entonces so la escribo, ¿verdad? Ahora ya la sé, la practica, se la aprende. ¿verdad? Eso es un, okay. ese es un, cada quien. Generales, yeah. any questions, general questions that you might have? Eh, en... Solo decirle a los compañeros que eh, estoy ahorita aquí en la compu, en la plataforma y en la parte del progreso Ajá. ya aparece el diploma donde dice earning Ajá. ahí está y ya se puede descargar en formato PDF Ajá. ok thank you so much ahí usted podrá ir a comprar un papel el más fino en la librería y lo, lo print bien, bien, high correcto, definition okay. y ya le pone un, un marco de dollar city <risa> Bien chivos son, no me Chivos son, bien baratos, bien chivos son algunos. Ok, uh, o si no, le pedimos ahí que nos diseñe uno, Ruth, un cuadrito con, con paint. Así que, guys, bueno, para mí ha sido un enorme placer conocerles a la mayoría, pues eh, me gusta saber que a pesar que es noche, ustedes están con esa energía, sé que no es fácil, es un esfuerzo que están haciendo, manténganse así. No lo dudo que si siguen así, pues van a llegar a, la, a los avanzados y pues de repente you want to speak really fluent English, ya lo están haciendo la mayoría, pero siempre hay mucho que aprender. Así que de mi parte, es un, ha sido una bendición conocerles, gracias por enseñarme muchas cosas y gracias por aguantarme a veces, a veces soy un poco, no sé, se me salgo del, del, del tema, but it's, I think it's part of the process. Um, quiero pedirles un favor, en el chat me mandan un mensaje si tienen alguna sugerencia, any suggestion, sea sincero, diga lo que quiera decir, ya ni lo voy a ver, así que no me sienta mal si me quiero ofender. <risa> no problem, no problem. Send a message ahí. Hey, teacher, you know what? No haga esa actividad que la vez pasada. Something like that. Siempre me ayuda como profesional, se los pido. Si lo quieren hacer, it's welcome. Si no, pues, it's okay. Um, I don't know if you have anything else to say. Doy un minuto, one more minute. Ya son las... Today is the last class. Today is the last class. Fue la última clase. Ya nos vamos, ya nos vamos a tomar una foto ahí. Así, así que el, los que tienen apagada la cámara, las encienden. Échense gelatina, cremita en la cara ahí. <risa> cremita de esa de, de Eibu. Teacher, <risa> y usted conoce, no, todas, no. y usted conoce todas las caritas, teacher. Porque no. a veces tenía en grupo y yo la, solamente uno, estábamos dos ahí conectados. Tío. No, vaya, ahorita vamos a ver si es cierto si están conectados. Ah. Y de hecho están menos ahorita. Vamos a ver. Open your cameras, please. La última vez. Si no, voy a mandar un correo de que nunca la encendieron. Ahí está Yancy, Albert, Segura. Vamos a conocerlo a todos. Judith. 
Está Judith. Ok, ahí está Susana, Carla, Gloria, no la veo, Gloria. Que veo a casi todos. Gloria, Nelly, no, no la veo, Nelly, Kim, no sea así. Ahí está Judith Ruth, ya Pau, se va a echar cremita. Nelly, ahí está Nelly. Gloria, Kim, ahí está Kim. Come on, a ver ahora la foto. Brian, lo veo, lo veo, lo veo doble. Ah, no, lo veo oscuro, eh. Um, sí, Diana, Don Silla, Aiza, Delmi, ahí está Héctor, muy bien, Brian, la texture, come on, ahí está Ruth, muy bien, Ruth, milagro, Gilbert, está bien Gilbert, no se preocupe, bueno, entonces, vamos a smile, like, como que estamos agradecidos de estar vivos, y esta foto va para el recuerdo, Ok, ahí si sí, alguien la quiere me la pide, porque eso no se puede andar publicando, este es top secret para nosotros, decime ahorita a mí me van a echar ustedes tranquilos <laughs> It's ok, it's totally fine I, I love this So let's see um, Nelly, bueno, los demás creo que no fueron desde la cámara, así que la mejor sonrisa para una foto y 3, 2, 1 en el camino del fuego, son mansiones multimillonarias. Ya la tomé, ya la tomé, ahí salieron sonrientes, déjenme ver cómo salió. Si no estén apresurados, denme un segundito, la voy a... Let me see. Déjenme ver, Debo pegarla aquí, a ver si me deja pegarla. Ok. Se quedó frisado. Ahí se las voy a mandar los que quieran que se las compartan. Me escriben los demás, pues, guys. Bueno, ha sido una bendición. No, teacher, mándela. Al grupo, al grupo, hay que mandarla. Al WhatsApp, al WhatsApp, entonces. Al WhatsApp. Vaya, permítame entonces, no te vayan, porque si no ha salido la foto, hoy salió mala, vamos a volver a tomar. Solo un minuto Vamos, nada más. Permítame, le puedo decir. Allí. Pero a ver, no, salió bien. Salió bonita. Salió bien. Salió bien. Salió bonita. De todas maneras, así son. La <ríe> cámara no guapo, pues, sí. Very, very, really handsome. Vale, chicos, bueno, la verdad es que agradezco muchísimo su comentario, su tiempo. Uh, quiero ver, me está cargando la página. Déjenme ver, déjenme un segundito porque por despertarse está... con nosotros y enseñarnos. Oh, it's my pleasure, it's my pleasure. No me está dejando ver la foto, no se vayan todavía, por favor, que como que se me quedó frisado, no creo. Sí, ahí está. Bueno, ahí la comparto entonces, chicos, cuídense mucho y pues bendiciones. Sí, Ajá. Antes que se vaya, eh, eh, muchísimas gracias a usted también por todo. No problem. I always do what I can do. Take care, guys. Ya estamos llorando, teacher. Ya estamos llorando, teacher. Thanks for everything. Ay, como empieza. Ay, como empieza listo. Cuídense. Bye bye. Con agua acabo de celebrar con agua. Con fresquito. Con fresquito. Con pan. Con pan. Bye bye. See ya. Nice to meet you all. Bye bye. Bye bye.